Joining me now is Kookaburra striker Matt Goads. Matt, it's been a big year. Yeah, it definitely has. Being named in the 16 to be selected to go to London's definitely, definitely made a huge year. Like you dream about that sort of stuff, and I admit the morning of the email getting sent out, I was nervous as hell, and when I finally got it, yeah, it was over the moon. Hey mate, it's been a. It's, it seems to me to be a quite a rapid, rapid journey from when you were just a, you know two foot tall running around in Rockhampton to now being in the Olympic team. Has it, has it felt that to you? Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. It's, as I've said, like my career's gone very quickly. Like, uh, hopefully after the Olympics, I have a chance to step back and have a look at it all. But yeah, it's, it's been great from all the junior representatives, just all through the like hockey Australia junior stuff as well. It's yeah, it's just been terrific, really. And to get the chance to represent Australia at the Olympics is yeah, I can't wait. From the outside looking in, your game seems to have gone to another level this last six or eight months. Do you put that down to anything in particular? Um, no. Not a lot really, I think it's just all finally come together. I've shown it in patches, but now putting it consistently together is what the coaches want, and I think I've been rewarded for that. And it looks like you enjoy running out in corners. Ah, oh, yeah, someone's got to do it. Like, it's, not that, it's not that hard, as long as you get out there quick enough, it should hit you below the knee anyway, so it's, it's good fun anyway, it gets the adrenaline pumping. So it's a matter of uh, doing a job where you get hit the least? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'd rather be standing up on halfway, but yeah, doing the team thing, you got to do it. And Matt, uh, away from hockey, what are, you, what are your interests? How do you keep yourself occupied? Um, I do like to get out on the golf course every now and again. And over at Perth, they've got some beautiful beaches. So between that and what little time we have off, that's probably you'll find me on the beach or on the golf course. And Jamie tells you, though, that you don't get within seven or eight shots of him. Is that right? Oh, mate, he, you can believe what you like, but he does talk a lot of <laughs> So who is the best golfer in the family? Oh, lately, it's definitely me. He had me for a couple of years there, but... Yeah, the he's starting to seize up the old fella. So you got him covered on the golf course. What about in the hockey field? Ah, uh, definitely behind him there. He's uh, he's done it all. I'm yet to prove myself at anything. So hopefully in the next couple of months we can wrap up a few medals and see how we go. And family's travelling to London. Yeah, there'll be a big crew from Rockhampton going to London because we got me, Jamie, and Mark all in the team. So all our families and a few family friends will be heading along. Should be good. And for everyone out there, what's the secret to Rockhampton hockey that a small area can produce three Olympians in, in 2012? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe just the exposure you get to senior hockey at such a young age gets you to learn the basic skills of hockey very quickly. So, yeah, I think it's just that and getting exposed like good physical hockey. Well, Matt, congratulations on your selection and we'll all be watching your progress over in London very closely. Thanks for joining us on the Hockey Zone today. No worries. Thank you.